thank you. Um, very good afternoon to all of you and thank you so much for making the time to be here. Um, it's a very proud occasion for us today to welcome you all for this press conference that announces um, the entire Filmfare Awards calendar for the next year. Um, you'll be very happy to know that we've got a fantastic partnership in place going with Geo, and I think it's the coming together of two iconic brands. One that has been entertaining Indian viewers um, in, for the world of Indian cinema for the last many decades and the other company that is probably the world's fastest growing digital company and one that is, I'm very sure, going to transform the digital landscape of the country. Um, so this is a partnership that goes just beyond the sponsorship of the awards and you'll see um, over the course of the next few minutes the, the year-long calendar that we've chalked out um, uh, to entertain Indian movie viewers um, across, across the year. But this partnership also goes uh, beyond, like I said, just sponsorship because it will ensure that we leverage Geo's fast-growing subscriber base, which has already touched a 60 million number, and ensure that short pieces of entertaining content are made available to an audience which uh, otherwise perhaps would have been devoid of this. So many thanks to Geo for, for partnering with us, and I'm very sure that together we'll, we'll set new standards for uh, the Indian entertainment industry. Um, I'd like to also play a short message from our, our sponsor, Mrs. Neeta Ambani, who's the director of Reliance Industries, who's got a few words to say to us. Thank you. May I now request Mr. Jitesh Pillai to share a few words. Hi, guys. Uh, thank you, first of all, for your patience. Um, and thank you, Geo, for partnering, uh, partnering with us on uh, the Filmfare Awards. It's uh, truly a wonderful, wonderful association. And thanks to Geo, we can have our contents in all uh, mediums. And be, uh, we go beyond uh, the Filmfare Awards also with our Geo Association. So thank you, Reliance Geo. Uh, it's truly uh, like family because uh, Geo is family now and I am seated with family. Uh, Karan uh, is probably the oldest friend I've had in the industry. Uh, he, uh, I first met him on the sets of Gumra and he carries his stardom and celebrityhood very, very effortlessly. Uh, he's an iconic filmmaker, he's a talk show host, he's a producer, and, and uh, I don't mean to praise him, but uh, the fact is that he carries all of this extremely lightly because we've seen a lot of filmmakers, uh, one film old filmmakers who behave like, uh, you know, they've just made Ten Commandments and uh, this. So Karan is extremely, uh, uh, what is the word, seamless, effortless and uh, at the end of the day very humble about his achievements. So more power to him and I really hope he moves from strength to strength. Uh, the one on the extreme uh, uh, right is my boss. Uh, he uh, signs my checks, so be nice to him. And then, of course, uh, so he's family too. And then, of course, there's Alia Bhatt, who is... Uh, the name Alia uh, sort of reduces me to a mush ball. So she is the baby of the family. Alia is... Uh, what can I say? She's had a crackerjack year uh, with three stunning performances in Kapoor and Sons, Dear Zindagi and uh, Urda Punjab. So it really has been a triple whammy for Alia. So more power and I hope you move from strength to strength. So fantastic. And uh, that's it. Uh, thank you again for patronizing Filmfare and for being part of this. Yeah. Also, yeah, before I forget, uh, Karan is, like I said, is family. So it's uh, quite natural that Karan will also be hosting the Filmfare Awards this year. While our little Alia performs yet again, Alia has become mandatory for every Filmfare function. So it's like uh, what they call in Hindi compulsory blind. So uh, no Filmfare without Alia and Karan. So thank you so much for your invaluable contribution. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Pillai. May I request Alia to say, say a few words, please? It's the 62nd Filmfare Awards. I think that itself, I think, deserves a applause in its sense because it is um, it is really huge. And Filmfare, as Jitesh mentioned, it is like family, whether it's, whether it's my magazine covers with them or the association with the awards or even just 
replying and responding to a random summer tweet about which you know products i want to carry in my bag i will i will do so immediately because it's film fair and not not only because um it's so prestigious and such a such a well known brand but also because they make you feel so comfortable so i think i want to start by saying thank you jitesh and thank you deepak for always making us feel so comfortable uh when we're associated with you when we're around you it does really feel like family um and yeah i'm really glad that i will be performing this year as well and i hope that continues i hope that i'm associated with fair every year in some way or the other if not performing maybe hosting um but yeah this year i will make sure i put up a great act and uh, everybody is very very satisfied with my performance and what else to say <laughs> yeah, i just want to say that uh, also the association with film fair and geo um i think is it's a great combination it's a brilliant combination i would say so because it is it is it has been a great sh a big shift for us you know going from celluloid to digital it's happened seamlessly uh but it happened for a reason because it was a very progressive and forward thinking um process um and being progressive and living with the times is the order of the day and i would say that geo is the order of the day and the order of our life so thank you geo and thank you fimfa thank you alia may i request mr johar to please and i also 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 also, also want to thank neeta ma'am she was not here but uh, we would you are being missed ma'am it would be really nice if you could be here but uh, thank you for uh, this association once again thank you alia may i request mr johar to please say a few words oh sorry before you requested i took the mic already i have a problem <laughs> i see a mic and i jump right into it <laughs> uh what do i say today is special on so many accounts first i'd like to thank mrs ambani who we miss sorely uh truly she's the heartbeat of geo and almost like you know like the captain of that ship in so many ways uh neeta and the entire ambani family uh, as in mr ambani and the kids uh isha and akash um and anant have been very very close to me and my family and i think their endeavors in the digital zone is purely magnificent and nothing nothing can be said that will be enough about their humongous efforts to make our entire country digital and i think that has been pretty much the mandate that we've heard of for so many years now yes as a filmmaker the transition from celluloid to digital has been sometimes an emotional one because we grew up on celluloid uh we definitely every frame that was painted on celluloid is special to me as a filmmaker and as a cinegoer and as a fan of so many prolific filmmakers but digital like alia rightfully said is the order of the day and who better than geo to take on the mantle of making bollywood digital with their humongous platforms like geo music geo cinema geo television and i'm glad that i'm even part of the short film jury uh, where all the nominations and all the clippings and films will be of course shown on the outstanding geo platform um it's going to be tough to of course assess that and more power to film fair for actually empowering the short film phenomenon which is truly taking over not only the internet space but even there are so many platforms globally that are awarding them and i think sometimes it's much tougher to tell a story in a short duration than it is i know i show i directed a short film for bombay tokies which was all of 25 minutes and i know i how i struggled to tell the narrative uh so more power to film fair for always being ahead of their times for being progressive uh for also being actual and for also always honoring the best cinema irrespective of bias irrespective of magnitude irrespective of sometimes even box office um i know it's always associated with popularity and many awards are and and sometimes rightfully so and sometimes perhaps not but film fair has always held the mandate of being i would say completely strong solid and always correct in their awards sometimes many a hearts have broken including mine uh and i think that goes with the territory Film fair needless to say when I talk about film fair um it's one of my earliest memories I remember standing in front of bathroom mirrors and bedroom mirrors rehearsing my speech if I were to ever win a film fair award uh for my very first film I was I was actually competing very strongly with a film called Satya and I thought that was a way better directed film than mine and I thought that maybe perhaps you know Ram Gopal Verma would walk away with the award and he got an award and then i started feeling maybe not maybe i will win the best director and remember started mumbling my speech while sitting on the front row actually it wasn't the front row it was the second or third row i didn't deserve the front row then um uh, and i started making that speech and i realized what a big deal it was for me 
to win my first Filmfare Award. And even now, in my bedroom, that's the only award that lies in, in one of our, my mantles because I remember the emotion attached to it. I remember walking on stage and Madhuri Dixit giving me that award. And I don't think I can ever forget. I get goose flesh when I think of that moment. And all 200 kilos of me walked on that stage. And, uh, and, and, and literally that award to me epitomizes everything that we are here for. We are here for the rewards monetarily, we are here for the acceptance and the acclaim. But when that film for award does come to you, it means a lot. There's so much cynicism attached to receiving awards, so much said. I remember a very, very um, prolific gentleman once told me, take awards seriously the year you get them. And I know that applies to many, many awards. Uh, but when it comes to filmfare, I know it's special. It's special because the process is special. I know because the event is special. And I know because the platform is special. Uh, so thank you, Deepak, for having us here today. Thank you for so seamlessly helming uh, the worldwide media like you do. And thank you for everything that you do to achieve brilliance at uh, the group that you present and represent. Uh, what do I say about you, Jitesh? You're more a friend uh, than an editor. You're more, um, I would say, um, you're more a sense of support and strength than a member of the media. Uh, you're so much more than what you and I both represent professionally. Uh, to us, it's never been, I mean, everybody jokes about, like, you know, my, my softness or my, uh, my sense of uh, solidarity and loyalty to Filmfare. But having said that, in my 18-year terrain, I've only won two Filmfare Awards. Uh, so, and I'm still there every year, standing like a strong, solid support, like Jitesh and the entire team, Anu and Rahul, and everyone have been uh, so amazing. Because to me, winning or losing does not matter, representing does. And when I go to Film Fair, I go there for the history that it represents. Uh, there is no more bigger platform that represents an archive's history of cinema like Film Fair does. Many years, when we'll all be dead and gone, eventually our legacy will be represented by the history of Film Fair. You can say what you want, you can love it or hate it, but you know what, historically, you can never be indifferent to film fair. And that's what we're here for, to honor, to represent, and to basically stand as a strong sense of support to the most prolific platform that exists. And again, I'd like to wind up by saying that, thank you, Gio, thank you for showing your strength and support to a platform that richly deserves it. And thank you to everyone here present today, members of the media. I feel like I'm a member myself, after my talk show, I always say that for the last 12 years I've done Coffee with Karan, that makes me as much of the member of the media as any of you are. So sometimes we get bouquets, sometimes we get brick bats, but you know what, it's all worth it because it's Bollywood. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Johar. With this, I'd like to now open the floor for Q&A, members of the media. देखिए मुझे बिल्कुल नहीं लगता कि ऐसा कोई ऐसी कोई बात हो सकती है क्योंकि बहुत सारे लोग हैं बहुत सारे अवार्ड्स हैं टेलीविजन का अभी गेम है टीआरपी का सिलसिला है तो ऐसा है कि बहुत सारे ऐसी चीजें होंगी लेकिन जो असली सोना होता है उसकी परख तो जोहर ही कर सकता है इसलिए मैं आया हूँ परख करने तो आई हैव अ फीलिंग के आई थिंक यू नो बहुत सारे इवेंचुअली आई थिंक जहाँ भी देख लो जितने सारे एलिमेंट्स और उन सब एलिमेंट्स की इज्जत मैं करता हूँ सारे अवार्ड सेरेमनीज की इज्जत करता हूँ क्योंकि लोग देखते हैं परखते हैं सराहते हैं टेलीविजन पे लेकिन इसका ये मतलब नहीं जैसे मैंने कहा कि इवेंचुअली मुगल आजम मुगल आजम और फिल्म फेयर अवार्ड फिल्म फेयर अवार्ड ही रहेगा ये चीज़ें नहीं बदलती करें सर एक और चीज़ है आपका काफ़ी लंबा और सक्सेसफुल करियर रहा है पिछले कई सालों में तो आपने कई जगह शूटिंग की होगी फिल्म की छोटे शहर में बड़े शहर में लेकिन रिमोट एरियाज में शूटिंग काफ़ी कम होती है फिल्मों की जी तो झारखंड गवर्नमेंट ने टू करोड़ का सब्सिडी दिया है ताकि वहाँ उस रिमोट एरिया में आके लोग फिल्म बनाए फिल्म मेकर्स फिल्म बनाए और उसका फायदा उठा सके तो वुड यू लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट झारखंड गवर्नमेंट बिकॉज यू सच जहाँ जहाँ हमें सब्सिडी मिलती है जैसे यूपी गवर्नमेंट ने भी या आप कह रहे झारखंड गवर्नमेंट ने भी ये ये मैंने पढ़ा था कल और आई थिंक कि हमारे देश में ज़्यादा शूटिंग करना हमारे लिए भी बहुत आसानी होगा और जैसे दंगल रिलीज हुई हाल में एंड दे जिस तरह उन्होंने कैप्चर किया है हार्टलैंड इंडिया को वो शायद ही बहुत कम फिल्मों ने किया है तो जब ये हमें बुलाते हैं हमें ये ये न्योता भेजते हैं तो उसका ऑफ कोर्स हम बहुत आभारी हैं और हम चाहते हैं कि हम ज्यादा फिल्में वहाँ हमारे देश में बनाएं देश की कहानियाँ और बताएं करें सर रिक्वेस्ट यू टू 
just congratulate the Jharkhand government for this initiative as such. Sorry? For this initiative, can you congratulate the Jharkhand government? Can I say what? Can you congratulate I'd like to congratulate the Jharkhand government for giving us this tremendous platform for us to represent. And I'd like to congratulate you for being so intense about the whole experience. <laughs> I, I, I would like to, uh, if Alia can also come, congratulate the government for I this think, purpose. I think uh, we are here for Geo and Film Fair. So, you are Geo, sit down. It's done. So, two days ago, uh, Shah Rukh was also in the award. He said that the awards that are shown on TV are a way that they are doing the whole system. There are many things, some are not, 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 some are not. तो उनके इस कथन पे क्योंकि वो एक दूसरे अवार्ड के लिए वहाँ आए हुए थे आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे जब टीवी पे ये अवार्ड्स आते हैं और कुछ लोगों को मिलते हैं कुछ लोगों को नहीं मिलते हैं कुछ चीजें Unfortunately आलोक जो दिखता है वही बिकता है तो जो आ जाते हैं वो आते हैं क्योंकि उनको शायद पता होता है कि वो अवार्ड्स our spirit has become a little less, and maybe when we talk about the spirit, the spirit has become less because there are so many awards that have been removed. So, their validity, their integrity, they sometimes doubt that this is probably right or not. But people are watching, and many people watch these television shows because they have big channels, TRT, and they have big stars, and they have a lot of stars. So, they have big stars, and 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 they have big stars. You know, that we will have more power than that awards or empower them from far away. So, this is always the case of our leadership. But I would like to say that we have a lot of people who have taken a stand in our industry. Like Amir or Kangana, that they don't come to awards. We have not taken any stand, nor do we want to take it. Where we call it, when 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 we call it, पैसे देते हैं तो होस्ट करते हैं, रेड रेड कापट पे पहुंच जाते हैं, तो मैं झूठ नहीं बोलना चाहता कि मैं कोई इंटेग्रिटी के लिए जा रहा हूं, मैं या तो पैसों के लिए जा रहा हूं या अवार्ड के लिए जा रहा हूं। तीसरी बात के लिए मैं जाता ही नहीं। सिर्फ एक जगह जब मैं पहुंच जाता हूं, जहां मुझे कभी-कभी पैसे नहीं मिलते, ना अवार्ड मिलता है, वो है फिल्म फेयर। और वो मैं इतिहास के लिए जाता हूं, रिश्तों के लिए जाता हूं, नातों के लिए जाता हूं, और क्रेडिबिलिटी के लिए भी जाता हूं। तो इसीलिए, I think कभी-कभी ये हमें ये चूज करना पड़ता है। तो ज so we also make films in Bollywood when we make films, we also make films for money. Every time we don't make films in cinema for the film. So when we are standing in the art and commerce, sometimes on the art, sometimes on the commerce, this is our process, this is our process, and we will always stay. Karan, you are also a part of the media, because you often show such a show, which is why there are many news. So what do you think of the best actor or actress in 2016? From your point of view, who should be from your point of view? अरे आप क्यों मुझे उस चेयर में डाल रहे हो? Normally मैं ये सवाल पूछता हूँ इन सवालों का जवाब भी नहीं देता मैं आप भूल जाते हो मैं प्रोड्यूसर भी हूँ इन सबके साथ काम करना है मुझे मैं नाम नहीं देना चाहता नाम दे दूँगा तो बदनाम हो जाऊँगा मैं नाम नहीं देंगा मेरे ज़हन में मेरे मेरे मन में मेरे सारे ज Ali, what do you want to say? Which film do you like in 2016? Because when it will be awarded, it will be awarded to them. Which film do you like? I don't think my favorite films are because I like them that they will get an award. But according to me, listen, it's been a great year. There are many good films here. And I've, I mean, few of them, I've I've been a one of them I've been a part of I think Kapoor and Sons for me is genuinely a very very lovely film I know I should not take my own film's name but I do feel so Nirja I think is fantastic Dangal मैंने सुना है कि is the film of the year I'm dying to see it तो I feel कि Dangal is just we're gonna walk away with all the love and rightfully so because I genuinely hear it's fantastic I can't think of films right now and I don't want I'll tell you it's called Aedil and Mushkil you might have forgotten Aedil ये अच्छा है घर की मुर्गी दार बराबर मेरी फिल्म बोल गई बड़ी आई कारण आई वाज गेटिंग दूसरे फिल्मों का झंडा ले रहते हुए मैं यहाँ दिलाता हूँ दिवाली में रिलीज हुई थी ये कोई नहीं भूल सकता एक तरफा प्यार आई नो एक तरफा हाँ एक तरफा प्यार ही मुझे लग रहा है मेरा प्यार तुम्हारी तरफ और तुम्हारा प्यार कहीं और कपूर एंड सन्स वो मैंने ह यही होता है ना जब एक्ट्रेस को मत लेना उस फिल्म में वो भूल जाती है कि दूसरों की फिल्में होती हैं। I was in I was in Adil है मुश्किल। हाँ you were in Adil है मुश्किल। लेकिन मैं भी भूल गया। I love you Alia don't worry। Great performance in Adil है मुश्किल। मुझे अवार्ड नहीं मिला तो मैं खुद ले लूँगा पीछे backstage में एक और request करूँगा जितेश से कि मुझे आला ही दे दे मुझे वह backstage award। क 
Karan and Alia, hi. Uh, considering the times that we are living in, you know, Rishi Kapoor sir had also mentioned once that uh, he had to ask for Filmfare Award trophy for Bobby. Uh, have you guys ever lobbied for award? Huh? I walked through a lobby for an award. <laughs> I have never lobbied for an award. I have never phoned anyone in life that I have an award. I know it goes and it comes. What is the benefit of lobbying? Where do I lobby with someone? Where do I lobby with someone? Where do I lobby with someone? I don't lobby with anyone. I have won a lot of awards in my life. I have won a lot of glamour awards. Best dress, best style, best glamour. I have won a lot of awards in my life. When I gave it, I was laughing and I was laughing. I was laughing and I was laughing. All these are all myths and conspiracy theories, madam. It doesn't happen. People may call the phone. At which level they will call the phone, they will call the phone. अपने फिल्म के बारे में कॉन्फिडेंट होता है या होती है उनको फोन करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती उनको मिल जाता है अवार्ड कहीं ना कहीं तो मिल जाता है ऑल्सो करीना रिसेंटली डिलीवर्ड अ बेबी बॉय एंड द अनफॉर्चुनेट पार्ट इज यू नो द बेबीज नेम गॉट इन लॉट ऑफ कंट्रोवर्सी डू यू थिंक दिस शुडन बी As in, this shouldn't have happened. The controversy Absolutely revolving around happened. the name it's of yeah. It's really such a stupid. proud moment for a wonderful family. Saif, Karina, the entire family. How can there be trolls about? It is their prerogative what they name their son. And a name is special to the parents, to the grandparents, to the entire family. I completely support their decision to name their son. And how dare anybody have an opinion about this? It could be, it's a name, it's their name, it's, they feel love. We should have spread the love at that moment and felt so happy for this couple that delivered a blue-eyed, bonny, beautiful baby boy. Uh, it, it's really ridiculous with all this, you know. It's their decision what they name their child and it should be no one else's prerogative to say anything. But having said that, the internet is, is a place where everyone's entitled to an opinion. Yeah, so fine, they expressed it. That's what trolling is called. Uh, so, uh, you have, uh, as you mentioned, won all of two Filmfare Awards and you've enjoyed some uh, immense uh, critical and commercial success as a filmmaker. To you personally, which of the two uh, matters more or what do you hold in higher regard as a filmmaker? The critical and uh, the critical success and uh, being awarded for the film or the commercial success as a producer? I have bills to pay, yaar. I have a company to run. I need to make the money. You know, when I make a film, I'm not here, I'm here to do something different, but along with that, I'm also here to make the money so that I can make more films. The only reason why I, I wish that money is not to stock it in my bank or to go and, you know, indulge in immense luxury. It's for me to make more films, tell more stories. That's the only reason why I feel the commerce for me sometimes outweighs the art. But having said that, the balance is what I achieve. And I want the critical acclaim as well. It breaks my heart when I read bad reviews and I read all of them. I read all reviews. I know exactly who said what and I take that criticism in the right spirit. I don't think there are people out there to get me personally. And if they haven't liked it, they genuinely may not have liked it. I'm obsessed by critics. I read everything. I want the acclaim. I want the money. I'm like everybody, every one of you in this room. I want it all. Sometimes you don't get it all. Sometimes you suffer on one of the two accounts. But having said that, the endeavor is to really get everything. But if you're asking me to choose, then of course I want my film to. But then, you know, it, these days it's not an either or scenario. If your film is strong, it will make the money and get the reviews. It will, and that's what's been happening right through this year. If you see films like Kapoor and Sons and Nirja and Pink and now Dangal and Edile Mushkil included, I mean, all of them actually won a, a claim and therefore made the money. So right now there is not a choice. It's actually following a very seamless line. An actor, uh, which uh, of the two, if you had to choose a performance, uh, for example, like Urta Punjab, which got you all the plaudits, or a film uh, like Adil Mushkil, which enjoyed such immense uh, commercial success. If you had to choose, uh, which one of these would you choose? Or would you again, like Karan, you know, walk no. the line between the two? Yeah, I think I agree with Karan that I think I maybe I've also come at a time where um, they kind of go hand in hand. Like they say, content is king. So if your film is good, it will do well. Um, for me, it, it's about the love, and it, and I'm not I'm not completely close close to criticism. I I don't read too many reviews, um, but sometimes like people send me things and I read it. Um, I feel like it's important also for you to be able to get the love, but also get the hate. I mean, hate is a strong word, but you have to balance it out. So somebody may love your film, but at the same time, somebody may not like it. So you you have to be open to that completely. So I am I am open to that. I may, I may feel bad maybe from time to time, but it's not like it's um, like it, you know, pulls me away completely. 
um but yeah i think for me it's it, it they both go hand in hand love is king like when i'm traveling at airports and you know random people come up to me and just literally just to talk to me about my character and my film that's what i think means the most to me i have to tell you one more thing about alia she's uh, truly detached from all of this but uh, she just she definitely tracks the reviews in as much as she quickly go and see what's written about her so okay i i think i have a little part to play because i think from the very beginning i've always trained them to read um i've given her names of reviewers that she may not have even heard of and now she goes online and checks because i'm like you have to read the written word you have to believe what people say because opinions define us and i think if we don't take opinions then we are actually going to be deluded and live in an island where no one wants to visit us you must know that if something's good about you there's also things that are not and you have to be able to improve what's not if you really don't believe it that's called that's called delusion if you believe accept and honor and acknowledge it that's called being progressive as an artist and uh, we all love your show coffee with karan it's getting amazing response since the beginning but uh, recently you know uh, govinda in an interview uh, expressed like that, that you have never invited him on his uh, talk show and uh, he said that i don't know why but i want to be on his talk show but you have never invited him would you like to uh, respond to his statement i have not invited him no uh, i think there was a t- talk about getting him on the show in between and it didn't seem to probably at that time there was a, i think we had thought about it and ideated i it would be an absolute honor and privilege to have uh, govinda on the show um and uh, i will i mean I, my apology is that he hasn't been and that he's felt upset about it it was there was no intention to hurt him he's a terrific artist a great movie star and i would love to call him and thank you for passing the message on now i will take note and and invite him and i hope he accepts my invitation the topic of chat shows i think you'll all be very happy to know that our own jitesh is pioneering in his own chat show uh, it'll be called famously film fair Coincidentally, the lady on my left, Alia, has done the pilot shoot with him, uh, and it's come out fabulously. Coincidentally, again, we are we are in very advanced stages of closing our uh, discussion with Jio, and Jio will be supporting us in this endeavor as well. Coincidentally, that will also be on television channel. It'll just not be on Star World because we we don't think we'll be able to rival Karan's accomplishments on 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 Star World, but it'll be on an English general entertainment channel. So soon, Karan will have Jitesh giving him company and hosting his own chat show. and i hope i get invited please do that will be the best um that's not been decided yet we're still ideating we're still uh, on the you know creative stage but um it'll be nice and either way i won't reveal i want it to be a surprise na actually jaise karan ne kaha ki film fair aur itihas se juda hai I remember um, sitting with my mom and my sister. हम लोग बैठते थे और उस टाइम पे गेस्ट करते थे कि कौन जीतेगा अभी तो पता चल जाता है मिनट मतलब अवार्ड मिलने से पहले ही पता चल जाता है किसको मिल रहा है सो एट दैट टाइम नॉट नॉट फिल्म फेम टॉकिंग अबाउट इन द डिजिटल एज पीपल जस्ट ट्वीटेड इमीजिएटली हुए वॉज गॉट ने बट वेन दैट टाइम वी नॉट वी सो नॉट नो सो टू वेट कि अभी किसका परफॉर्मेंस आएगा ना हु विल गो ऑन स्टेज एंड आई वुड लव इट I would love looking at the people's expressions when the name is announced. That was my favorite part. कि आपका expression क्या है जब आपको दिया गया है क्योंकि वो priceless expression होता है. Even when I watch the Oscars or something like that, that one expression is priceless. So, yeah. so I want to say something after. <laughs> so do I. What do you have to say? <laughs> so I I have to say oh, you finish your finish. No no say I'm 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 done now. So, uh, so it was the year of Queen and uh, Alia had uh, come with Highway. and uh, she had no clue that she was winning the fair critics award and i this is the first time i saw i mean that was alia's first award so i saw genuine surprise and uh, i mean kangana won the popular award for uh, queen as the best actress and alia won so i mean i was it was see her childlike glee when you know where she spoke about karan and uh, it, it was amazing and so these cried. moments uh, are, are really i think what make film fair Yeah, I agree. And I have to tell you that I just realized that since 1990, uh, I have there's not a single film fair award I have missed till right up to 2000. Now 17, I've attended every award since 1990, which was like whenever I was old enough to attend it with my father. In fact, I think maybe 89. I'm not sure, but I think it's I've not missed a single film fair award. 
it's the Yash Chopra of film fair awards because uh, even Yash ji never missed a, single, a single film fair award whether he won didn't win or whatever he never missed a single film fair award and i have been there right right through and uh, in all kinds of roles i just kept moving ahead which was great i was right at the back i think in 89 <laughs> and then now i i find myself on the the front row so that's my biggest i think trajectory in life is how i moved up in the rows of film fair it was actually going corresponding with my my film journey his debut as a host i must say started with film fair where he had six yeah, dress changes yeah i mean i thought i mean and, and some wrong cue cards were given to me which is the funny but story. i must say my first film fair experience uh, during when student release um, sid varun and i was we sat for the full show and i really want to do that once again because what happens now is you you know you come in late and then you sit and then you have to go backstage you have to perform you can't see the whole show that year we were um, you know we were just sitting and watching the show from start to finish so i really hope that i can do that again um maybe this year when i'm performing this year but some year want to decide yeah who will win nahi i don't think main aise khayalat rakhti hu ki mujhe lagta hai is ke hoga main board banaungi ye diagram banaungi ye calculate karungi jaise ki karan ne kaha agar milega to milega agar nahi milega to nahi milega um and agar is saal nahi milega to agla saal agli saal milega ye saal nahi milega to uski agli saal but eventually it will come if you are you are at it तो मैंने कब कहा कि कॉफी विद करण कोई सीरियस शो है तो जो उन्होंने कहा वो सीरियसली बिल्कुल नहीं लेनी चाहिए हंसी मजाक की बातें होती रहती हैं उस प्लेटफॉर्म पे उस शो पे सीरियसली लेना क्या लोग बहुत समटाइम्स कुछ लोग ज्यादा सेंसिटिव या टच ही हो जाते हैं एंड आई थिंक हम जो बातें करते हैं वो फन की बात मेरे लिए मेरे ऊपर भी बहुत सारा मजाक उड़ाया गया है एंड जस्ट दई आई डोंट टेक इट सीरियसली नो शुड से मैं कोई अपनी तारीफ थोड़ी करता हूँ आप इनफैक्ट मैक्सिमम गैस आते हैं मेरी बुराई करते हैं खुद अपने शो पे और मुझे अच्छा लगता है जब कोई मेरी बुराई करता है क्योंकि इट्स मेंट टू बी डन इन विद गुड सेंस ऑफ यू मैन इन कम्प्लीट गुड स्पिरिट तो सीरियसली तो बिल्कुल नहीं ले कहाँ कॉफी विद करण सीरियस शो हुआ तो हो गई हमारी अगर सीरियस तो बिल्कुल नहीं है इट्स अ हैप्पी टॉक शो लोग आते हैं बात करते हैं चले जाते हैं और अगले हफ्ते की कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी का इंतजार करते हैं नहीं मुझे तो आपने मिसाइल बना दिया है किस किस को लॉन्च कर रहा हूँ अरे भाई खुद अपना काम मैं कर रहा हूँ खुद मैं बस टिका रहा हूँ वो बहुत बड़ी बात है दूसरे करियर्स के बारे में मैं सोचता रहा तो पागल हो जाऊँगा ऑफकोर्स बहुत सारे एक्टर्स को हम पेश करना चाहेंगे बड़े पर्दे पे आ, आ, तो लॉन्च तो खैर बात की बात है लॉन्च करते करते मैं ही टेक ऑफ ना हो जाऊँ Thank you so much, members of the media, for joining us. Wishing you an advanced Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Obviously, we're looking forward to the 62nd Geo Film Fair Awards 2017. Thank you for joining us here today. So, you will know that um, last year we actually tried to take the Film Fair Awards to a much, much larger canvas um, and make sure that it. it actually happens in a in an environment which is which which it's deserving of uh, the venue will be again the ncpa it's on the 14th of january 2017 and sorry um i said ncpa by mistake it's at, at the dome at the national sports complex that's right and um, once again the endeavor is to make the show larger than life um, so yeah that's that जरूर सो so, आपको आई थिंक सैटरडे को फ्रंट पेज बॉम्बे टाइम्स जरूर पढ़िएगा uh, आपको टिकट्स की पूरी जानकारी मिलेगी इट विल बी द सेम एज यूजुअल सिर्फ प्राइसिंग में शायद थोड़ा डिफरेंस हो सकता है थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस मेंबर्स ऑफ द प्रिंट एंड डिजिटल मीडिया थैंक यू थैंक यू